Hello guys and in today's video we are going to talk about what are the points to consider when evaluating a Caribbean mid school. When students apply to Caribbean mid schools they should make sure that those mid schools are accredited. This is the most important point that every medical aspirant should know. Here are some of the most important aspects to consider. Let me talk in detail. A regional or international authority must deem a medical school as accredited and Caribbean med schools usually are but it is important for you to check. So let us talk about what are the approvals and accreditations which are available. In the US med schools are accredited by Liaison Committee of Medical Education known as LCME and graduating from any of these accredited med schools will allow you to practice medicine as a general practitioner or a specialist in the United States. So but unlike in the US, Caribbean med schools are accredited by separate bodies. So the accreditation system used by CAMHP is based on that of the Liaison Committee of the Medical Education known as LCME. The system functions with a clear authoritative mandate operates independently of governments and institutions and uses preset standards and draws an external reviewers and involves self-evaluation and site visits. So CAMHP is recognized by US National Committee on Foreign Medical Education and Accreditation as meeting LCME standards. And CAMHP is also recognized by the World Federation of Medical Education known as WFME which is the International Authority on Med School Standards. And the accreditation process is adopted by the CAMHP has two general aims. To certify that the medical school education program meets the prescribed standards and also to promote institutional self-evaluation and improvement. So CAMHP requirement is must for you to take an admission in the medical college. And what are the other licenses which are available? Let me take an example of Barbados here. So Ministry of Education, Science, Technology and Innovation, Government of Barbados is also providing a license for a med school to run, right? And especially we have few medical schools which are accredited or licensed by these bodies. And next is the World Directory of Medical Schools. So this World Directory of Medical Schools is the most important and authentic directory of all the med schools in the world. And you have to check that the university which have taken admission must and should be listed in this. And another important one is the FAMER which is the Foundation for Advancement of International Medical Education and Research. FAMER is a non-profit foundation promoting excellence in international health professions, education through programmatic and research activities. Not only about the accreditation, accreditation is must before taking admission into the med school. You have to check for this, but not only the accreditation guys, it is also very important to check other factors. In that the most important one is the USMLE step one pass rate. So the most important consideration is the USMLE step one exam pass rate. So this USMLE is generally taken at the completion of your basic science courses and it is an essential metric for success in your medical career. And also it is very very important for a student to pass USMLE step 1 exam on your very first attempt as it will be a stepping stone towards gaining a competitive residency. And the examination is way to success medical students and their ability to apply important concepts of science which is the foundation for rest of the MD program. And the medical school should take all the necessary steps to ensure that the students are really prepared for the exam. Therefore, USMLE coaching and passing rate from that university is must for you to check before taking an admission. And after this, the most important one is the residency placement. Pursuing a medical career consists of many steps before becoming a licensed doctor. And the residency program marks a final stage in your journey as a medical student. So during this time, you will be intensively trained in your selected specialty 
only after you have been accepted into the residency program and successfully completed it then only you can start your medical career and after this what is the level of support and opportunities they are providing in the med school this is the final thing what you need to check before taking an admission so before enrolling into any med school weigh your options carefully think about where you want to practice medicine and what type of doctor you want to be the path to becoming an md is challenging so it is important to find the best school for your priorities therefore all the points must be considered before you take admission in any of the caribbean med schools